What's up guys, Sal here. So the OnePlus 7T Pro hasn't even been announced yet and we already have the first look of the OnePlus 8 Pro. And surprise surprise, it has a hole punch display just like Samsung's flagships. I mean just 3 months ago, OnePlus posted about how their flagships has an uninterrupted full screen display and mocked Samsung, Apple and Google for having a hole punch, notch and bathtub at the top of their screens. But deep down, OnePlus knew that their design was a compromise unlike other mentioned OEMs. Look, the pop-up camera and full screen display looks beautiful and fun to watch, but the fact of the matter is, it's a design compromise. Moving part in a smartphone is a design compromise, period. OnePlus totally understands that they knew this all along and that's the reason the new OnePlus handset, the OnePlus 8 or 8 Pro, will have a punch hole display like the Galaxy Note 10, albeit it will be placed at the left. On leaks, as you already know, a very reliable leaker got the official factory CAD schematics from Foxconn and made these renders to showcase what exactly are the changes we are gonna see in the next OnePlus handset. And there aren't many. The only difference you can see is that instead of the pop-up camera, there is a punch hole camera this time. In a way, this is a downgrade because you'll no longer get that uninterrupted full screen display of the OnePlus 7 Pro. But the good thing is, it's now clear that the pop-up cameras will not become the future of camera design. Anyway, the OnePlus 8 is also expected to have wireless charging. It's about time. OnePlus has absolutely no excuses this time. Previously, they said that the reason their phones doesn't have wireless charging is that it's too slow. Well, that was true back then, but clearly it's not the case anymore because it has gotten way faster, even faster than OnePlus's own 30 watt warp charge. Honestly, the reason they didn't include the wireless charging is not because of the slow speed, but because they were cutting costs to price it aggressively. But here's the thing, OnePlus. If you want to call your phone a flagship, and want to compete with the other real flagships, then provide basic flagship features that we take for granted such as wireless charging and a freaking IP rating. Honestly, if OnePlus again comes with this ad for IP rating, then I'm gonna officially lose my mind. Anyway, as for when we can expect the OnePlus 8, I don't think anytime soon. The OnePlus 7 was launched in May. So if OnePlus follows their own launch schedule, then we're still 7 months away from seeing this handset in real life. I hope they price it sensibly, because Apple shocked everyone when they announced that the iPhone 11 will be cheaper than the XR. The iPhone 11 is gonna eat a lot of Android phones market share, and OnePlus is the one who has a lot to worry about than any other company, because their prices fall under the same category. Of course, that being said, please consider subscribing for daily tech videos like this, and as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.